if you don't want to hear me talk, if you're not into fitness, if you're not into health, if you're not into mentality, if not in changing your mindset into positivity, I would highly suggest you go ahead and X out the video and um, you know don't watch the journey series that I have. But if you want to learn a little bit more about health, learn more about my mindset and my positivity, my outtake on life, this video is for you. is not going to start off too positive, but I'm going to try to make it as positive as I can. On a quick note, I've had a bunch of people asking me in the previous video that I had made about my journey, how come you stop filming your workouts? Well, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm going to try to do my best to share literally everything with you as far as being like really transparent and telling you guys what's going on, what's going on in my head and what's happening in my life as far as my fitness and my mental health. I'm not gonna lie, there's been a lot, there's been a lot of things in my life that have been happening that I haven't been able to really express how I feel fully on my videos, or overall I just don't feel comfortable sharing it with, you know, the world right now at least. So, you know, I wanna be as transparent and open with you guys as I can, it's just, the last few weeks have been a little bit tough, uh, particularly because I haven't had a lot of accountability nor guidance, which is, for me, it's something that I struggle with really hard, is not having someone there to say, don't do this and don't do that and be here at this time and be here at that time. And without that, I struggle a lot. And uh, my coach that I've been working with, he's been busy with his competition and uh, I've been trying to grow on myself as far as learning accountability, which is hard, it's not easy. It's hard to say, you know, you don't need to eat that much food or you, you, you should, you know, take a few days off from the gym or whatever it is. It's like, all that stuff adds up really quickly. And, you know, I've been doing some stuff that I don't, that I regret and that I don't, uh, I don't recommend doing just because it's thrown me off mentally and physically. Um, I gained like six to 10 pounds back over the last month or two just from, I guess, stress eating and binge eating, which is something I've struggled with my entire life. And I'm not afraid to admit it. It's just something hard to admit uh, because it's, it's tough to realize that, you know, it's tough to realize that I've had that issue where, you know, I haven't had much help with the actual disorder. I've just kind of struggled with it. And, uh, you know, I have an eating disorder. It's not, it's not fun. It, it sucks. It hurts you mentally and, and physically, and it, it makes you feel bad about yourself. It makes you hate yourself. And there's a lot of factors that fall into play when you have a disorder like that, and it's just not fun. So anyone who struggles with an eating disorder, I feel your pain. I'm very sorry for it. And it just, it's, it sucks so much. But the best thing you can do is, is you know, keep fighting through your struggle, keep learning, keep trying to figure out what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And the hardest thing is too is you get other people who say like, oh well, just don't eat. You don't don't eat that. that that's like saying like, don't smoke that cigarette or don't whatever whatever your addiction is. It's just like saying, oh don't don't do it. Like you don't have to. It, no, it's not that simple. You know, it's a disorder. It's a hard thing that people deal with where. Obesity is a huge thing in our in the USA and you know in certain parts of the world that Affect a lot of people in certain ways, and it's just it's not fun to deal with so I'm just gonna try my best to you know keep my head up and Stay positive and really just continue to focus on my goal of Not not essentially not necessarily being skinny, but really just being healthy, you know, I want to be healthier I want to look better. I want to feel better so I'm gonna go get a workout in. We'll film some of that. Let's go. Let's go 15 again, bud. Come on, get those reps.
Grandma's best scope. But she gotta earn it today. Ugh. Push, man. Let's go. Come on, get there. Let's go, Spans. Come on, squeeze your lap. Bigger stretch here. There you go, good. Push down a little more. There you go. Push through. There we go, good. Come on, Spaz, who are you gonna be today? Ugh. Ugh. Come on, let's go, get there. Go Spans, push.
Do these spans, come on. Push through, push those shoulder blades forward. There we go, good. Decent workout, not bad. I can tell you right now, I do feel a lot better mentally, for sure. Feel a lot better physically, sore already, but it's all about just getting into the gym and just showing up. That's all you have to do is just show up. It's really straightforward. As long as you get your ass in the gym, at least do cardio for. 15, 20 minutes, lift for 30 minutes, just somehow get in there. That's all that really matters. Then once you can do that, you can dial in consistency with time. So I'm hoping I stay in focus, but I figured I'd go ahead and start talking a little bit more just about some struggles I've had a little bit more in detail. Maybe you guys can relate to it, but yeah, I'll, I'll, make, this a, uh, I'll make this a separate vlog for the journey, just because it's going to be me talking a little bit more in depth about um, my struggles and what I'm going through, and uh, you know more in depth. So if if you don't want to hear me talk, if you're not into fitness, if you're not into health, if you're not into mentality, if not into changing your mindset into positivity, I would highly suggest you go ahead and X out the video and um, you know don't watch the journey series that I have. But if you want to learn a little bit more about health, learn more about my mindset and my positivity, my outtake on life, this video is for you. So I'm currently sitting here in traffic outside of World Gym because the traffic is absolutely terrible right now. If you go up Garnett or Balboa and you make a U-turn, the traffic is stopped at the stoplight and all the way up into Claremont, which is very unusual, but there's a lot of construction going on and this is the busiest intersection in San Diego. It's like four four lanes, four-way intersection, going to the five, going to five north, five south, Claremont into PB. But to get to my point, I want to say thank you to those who have stuck through this episode to watch the whole series or to watch this whole video in general. Oh, well, what have I been going through lately? Now that I have some endorphins going, I have a little bit more encouragement or courage to really share what's going on in my head. Um, I've been binge eating the past few days because of, uh, I'm letting people around me get to me. Basically, people are saying negative things. Uh, I'm not gonna say who they are, but I'm around a little bit of negativity in my life and it's hard to get away from it. So, there's only so much fighting you can do until it really starts to affect your body and it affects your mind and the way that you think and the way that you work. So. I just felt like, you know, I was just worried and I felt like eating food really got rid of the pain that I was having that I hated. And it, there's a mindset you have to find of how to change your thought process on, you know, you're torturing your body when you eat bad food or when you do drugs or when you do something bad or whatever it is that, you know, you personally do or use as an outlet to get rid of that negativity or to, to numb that pain. And for me, it's, it's always been comfort food because when I was in Michigan and when my dad was passing away, my comfort go-to was just junk food. And those moments of eating like the burgers or the pizza or the donuts like that, those, those moments you can't describe because it's, it's almost embarrassing. You have to just think about it for yourself. And for me, I'm willing to share it. Like, I don't care. But the, those moments when you're eating that food, everything else goes away. And all the pain, all the, all the self-doubt, all the hatred, it goes away when you're able to eat that kind of food. Sorry, you can't see me. I'm in a tunnel. When you have that kind of outlet where you're able to eat something or you're able to do something and it gets rid of your pain or you're worrisome or you're... Your, your feeling of being scared, you know, you want to go back to it. You want to continue to keep doing that because it makes you happy. And it's, it's tough to fight through that because you're so used to having that feeling because it's so easy to get. Now, there's a point in your life where you hit a moment where you're like, you know, maybe this is doing a lot of damage to my body, whether it's drugs or like a, a personal problem or binge eating, you know, whatever it is. 
you know, you want to find something to replace that. And only so many people can say, stop doing it, you know, stop doing this, stop doing that until it clicks and it, it may hit you one day randomly in 10 years or in 10 minutes. It's just a matter of when, you know, for me, I had an epiphany where, you know, I looked in the mirror and I was like, man, what, what am I doing? Why do I look like this? And it, it just motivated me to start working out. And, you know, I almost went to an extreme. I was almost like not anorexic, just eating nothing and training twice a day. And I lost 40 pounds in six months, which was, it was a little bit unhealthy the way that I had done it. And then the moment after those six months when I had like a burrito and I had like uh, some Cheetos and pizza rolls and you know, I had a cheat day for my birthday. I went from 230 to 189 and like the moment I ate that food, I just became addicted and I couldn't stop. I like would, I'd eat really fast as much as I could and just lay there and just be like, what am I doing to myself? But all that pain would be going away, but you're almost creating another problem for yourself, which you are. So you have to find something to replace that feeling of, of that fullness, of that, that feeling of the drug, which food can be a drug, and, and you want that feeling all the time, and it's hard to find a replacement. And for me, I think the best thing that you can do is that you know you don't have to look for a replacement right away. I think that as long as you're taking the right steps towards changing your mindset and how you feel about finding a way to cover up that pain, that's how you really make progression, by taking the step every single day of realizing how you can better yourself and make yourself feel better. And uh, you know that's what it's all about in the end, is, is making yourself feel better and creating a better version of who you are as a person, um, and not just for other people, but for yourself, to really focus on your goals and your mindset and, and your achievements that you want to get to. And it's hard to do that when you have obstacles in the way. And you know, for me being more personal again, it's just, I struggled my whole life with binge eating because that's what I know that makes me feel better my whole life. That's what I was, that's how I was raised. And I'm trying to change that mindset, not by cold turkey, but every day, you know, Okay, maybe go to 7-Eleven and only buy two things, don't buy four things. Okay, now, instead of not going to the gym, you know, don't say I'm gonna go do an hour on the treadmill, an hour on the treadmill, say I'm gonna go do 20 minutes on the treadmill at easy level, just get in the gym. You know, then you feel better, but you're like, okay, that wasn't so bad, then you continue to start getting better and better and better, and uh, you don't burn yourself out, you don't go, you know, eating six meals a day of just like turkey and chicken and rice, and then, go to the gym for two hours and the next day you wake up and you're like, I want donuts. It's like, no, like have a donut today and, and slowly ease your way into like eating better food. And what I did is I would just change my breakfast. You know, when I first started, just have, I had oatmeal and protein powder for breakfast and that was it. I would just change my breakfast. My lunch was still, you know, a sandwich from next door. My dinner was still uh, a hot pocket with, with a bag of Cheetos and like Mountain Dew. Whatever it was that I was addicted to, I would do that still. But then got to a point where like, I didn't even want that stuff anymore. I remember at one point I would eat and drink all that crap and I would literally feel sick to my stomach. But then like you start getting addicted again and it becomes a problem. So there has to be a happy medium balance where you realize, okay, I'm doing damage and I need to stop or slow down or I'm okay, I can have this in moderation. And that's what it boils down to is just moderation. So if you guys are struggling with any kind of you know, health issue or, or any kind of like physical issue, my own advice to you guys is just take a step forward in just making a baby step. It doesn't matter how big the step is, as long as you're making that continuous step forward to really better yourself and, and realize, you know, step back and realize why am I doing this? It's for me, it's for the quality of life that we have from, from newborn to death. Um, our choice is on what we do with that time. And the best thing you can do is make the best of it. You know, so what if you got fired from a job or so what if you don't know what passion you want or so what if your girlfriend or boyfriend broke up with you or your parents are divorced, like shit's gonna happen in your life that is not easy and it's up. To, it's all up to you on how you react to those situations. You can either be sad or be happy and you can figure out a balance between that of it's normal to be sad, it's normal to cry. As long as you have this mindset of saying I'm capable of facing it head on, you're setting yourself up for the brightest future possible. Now you will fail, you will lose, you will have hard times, but from all those lessons that you're going through, you're gonna learn from it and you're gonna better yourself for the future. So even if you see this baby step as not making much progress, you know, take take 10 baby steps and that's one huge step. Whether it takes you two, you know, three or four days or two months, you're still making, oh, there's a BMW 1M. I haven't seen one of those in so long. Or M1, the new one, wow. But just, just make sure that you're giving yourself credit and that you're not rewarding yourself with like, you know, a bad thing. Say, 
don't don't say like, oh, well, I did so well this month, I should treat myself to what I missed. You know, find a decent balance of okay, maybe once in a while have that, but but you know, make sure you're giving yourself credit during the whole process of saying, you know, I'm doing a good job, I'm bettering myself, I'm doing this for the right reason, and you start to become aware of who you are, why you're doing what you're doing. And you you find this quality of life that you're saying I'm doing it for me, I'm doing it for my body. Ah, oh, sh. Steel plates. Oh my god. I swear that hurt my wheel. I swear my left front wheel is bent. Oh my god. Sorry guys, I, I don't ever get mad on camera, but the city of San Diego puts these steel plates down and like I don't have the wheels to handle that kind of stuff and it was so bad. My whole car like came off the ground. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go home and make my breakfast. Sorry about that. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. <laughs>